Hey everybody, Greasy Bub, the original. Subject matter, something I've been wanting to talk about for a couple years. Do lotteries front and back load? I'm convinced they do. I have no proof of this. Let's just go over this exa uh, example. I hope this annoying light here that's on isn't going to screw this. Whatever, I'll put it over there. Alright, so this ticket just ended today. The whole idea of this ticket is called $1,000 Dream, and look at that. The odds of winning 380 are 1,000, 387 to 1. That's phenomenal. I'll jump up to the top prize. Now, that's truly an act of God. Almost 3 million to 1. 2.880. Alright, so, all the top prizes are gone. In the run of the tickets, there were 14,400,000. 14, 14,400,000. Million 14, million Alright, let's do something real quick here. Get back. Chances of winning. Er. No, remaining prizes. That's even better. That one that's shown on top there, it shouldn't be there. It's gone. Look at the $1,000 prizes. It should be a lot more in correlation. Maybe a 1000 left. Maybe one $5,000 prize. You know, there's $75,000 prizes. Six hundred hundred dollar prizes left. So, if you take the three hundred eighty seven thousand, three hundred eighty seven, we come up with that number right there. Two thousand two million seven hundred nine thousand. So the tops are gone, but if they're going in correlation of how they should be. This number should be a hell of a lot lower. There's still $7,812. $7,812,000 winners left in this game. Even though this game's now in because of all the top prizes. Now, the theory's always been, and believe me, on Pennsylvania's games, they let you play them here. This is pretty cool. But... There's that dream and symbol for a thousand. The theory's always been they front load with a lot of the intermediate prizes in the beginning, and at the end, they hold back. Because once all the tops are gone, sales are ended. And believe me when I tell you, it's hard to find the tickets. They, you know, they don't even ship them out to the retailers or anything like that. So, let's do the math. S you know, 7,800 tickets times 1,000. That's like, you know, I think $7 million that they saved. Just crazy, crazy, crazy. But that's a, a, a theory... That I've always, a lot of people have always wondered, I have to do state lotteries front and back load. I'm 100% convinced that they do. Over, You know, they would never admit it. Just food for thought. You know, it's just something to look at. Like I said, if you look at the remaining $1,000 prizes there, this is a zero now. And bear in mind, you know, that always happens to end up that way. You know, the top prizes go, and there's still tons of the intermediate range prizes. That would be backloading. When the tickets first start, there's a ton of... Because when this ticket started, there's 37,000 $1,000 winners. And they go real. They went really, really, you know... The first week, I hit twice. I ended up winning five times on this ticket for 1000 So... That's just food for thought. Just another way they get at us. Dig their... Eh. 
whatever. All right, everybody. Just something I thought I'd bring up. I hope that I know that annoying yellow light's going to be there in this video. Thanks for putting up with it. Front and back loading state lotteries. Do they do it? Yes. I think so. All right, Rick Peace out. Catch you on the flip side. Remember, love is the answer. It truly is. Especially now more than ever.